Now we will go to the Laplace transform of trigonometric function. Let us find Laplace transform of cosine of bt. Okay, we will find we will find Laplace transform of cos function cos bt. It can be cos ct, cos beta t, cos alpha t. Anything we can say. Now we will start by the definition of Laplace transform. Laplace transform of a function equals to integral from 0 to infinity of e to the power minus st into f of t with respect to t. Okay, now we can write Laplace transform of cosine of bt should be integral from 0 to infinity of e to the power minus st cosine of bt with respect to t. Now we will find this integral. Now integral of e to the power minus st cosine of bt with respect to t. We will find this integral by integration UV method or integration by parts. Okay. Here we will take e to the power minus st as u and cosine of bt should be v. So e to the power minus st integration cosine of bt with respect to t minus ddt of e to the power minus st integration cosine of bt with respect to t and then the whole integral okay now e to the power minus st this integration should be 1 by b sin bt minus minus s e to the power minus st cosine of bt integration of cosine of bt should be 1 by b sine of bt then the whole integral okay the whole integral so we will get e to the power minus st sine bt by b minus and this minus will produce plus integration in fact constant s and b will be out of integration region so s by b integration e to the power minus st sin bt with respect to t okay now we will plug in this information we will plug in this information into this star equation okay so the star equation will become the star equation will become laplace transform of cos laplace transform of cos bt equals to this integral is this part e to the power minus st e to the power minus st sin bt sin bt by b from 0 to infinity plus plus s by b integration e to the power minus st sin bt with respect to t okay from 0 to infinity okay now putting the limit value into this part we get e to the power minus st sin bt by b limit t tends to infinity minus e to the power minus 0 sin 0 by b and this portion this portion 
is plus s by b look at this portion look at this part this part is laplace transform of sin bt because here f of t function of t and here stands sin bt for function of t so we will write this part as laplace transform of sin bt okay i will repeat once more this function e to the power of st sin bt by b by putting limit in this function we will get limit e to the power of st sin bt by b when t tends to infinity and then minus e to the power minus 0 sin 0 by b this part is finished here and then this part plus s by b and this part we will call laplace transform of sin bt okay now now take this limit this limit is sin bt should be from minus 1 to plus 1 okay by b into 1 by e to the power st okay so 1 by e to the power st will approach 0 when t tends to infinity and 0 into something is 0 so this part will be 0 and this part sin 0 0 e to the power 0 1 so this part is obviously 0 this part and then plus s by b laplace transform of sin bt okay this part will evaluate as 0 minus 0 plus s by b the plus transform of sin bt so s by b la plus transform of sin bt so we will get from the equation la plus transform of cosine of bt equals to s by b la plus transform of sin of bt <coughs> and now by definition we get 0 to infinity e to the power minus st sin bt with respect to t so we will evaluate this part by integration by parts we can call this equation as star equation and we will remove this portion now we will evaluate this part integration e to the power st sin bt with respect to t equals to e to the found by e to the power bypass method integration uv method we will take e to the power st as u and sin bt as v e to the power st integration of sin bt with respect to t minus ddt of e to the power minus st integration of sin bt with respect to t and then the whole integral with respect to t now e to the power st this integration should be 1 by b minus cos bt minus minus s e to the power minus st 1 by b minus cos bt with respect to t now we will get minus e to the power minus st cos bt by b minus multiplies with minus then multiplies with minus 3 minus will will be multiplied together and produces minus okay so 
we will get s by b e to the power minus s t cosine of b t with respect to t okay now we will put this information into this star equation in fact we will call this equation as double star because single star equation is called previously now the double star equation will become laplace transform of cos bt laplace transform of cos bt equals to s by b s by b minus e to the power minus st cos bt by b from 0 to infinity from 0 to infinity and then minus minus s by b s by b integration e to the power minus st cosine of bt cosine of bt with respect to t okay from 0 to infinity from 0 to infinity and these will be in bracket now s by b minus this part limit e to the power minus st cos bt by b t tends to infinity okay minus and then this minus will multiply and we will get plus e to the power minus s into 0 cosine of 0 by b and then minus this minus s by b s by b and this function this function should be this portion should be Laplace transform of cos bt because in place of f of t here cos bt is present okay so we will write this portion as Laplace transform of cos bt okay now we will remove this portion because this portion is already done so we will remove this now take this portion here laplace transform of cos bt laplace transform of cos bt equals to s by b minus limit of cos bt by b into 1 by e to the power st okay when t tends to infinity t tends to infinity okay okay plus e to the power 0 is 1 cos 0 is 1 so we get 1 by b minus s by b laplace transform of cos bt okay now we can remove this part now take this limit cos bt should be from minus 1 to plus 1 and this part will approach 0 because t tends to infinity so 0 into minus 1 to plus 1 will produce 0 so 0 plus 1 by b minus s by b laplace transform of cos bt okay now we get s by b square minus s square by b square laplace transform of cos bt okay now this part s square by b square 
Laplace transform of cos bt. This part we will take at this side. So we will get Laplace transform of cos bt plus ac square by b square Laplace transform of cos bt equals to s by b square. Laplace transform of cos bt into 1 plus s square by b square equals to s by b square. So from here we get b square plus s square by b square b square plus s square by b square Laplace transform of cos bt equals to s by b square b square is removed so Laplace transform of cos bt is finally s by s square plus b square so this is the ultimate result Laplace transform of cos bt should be s by s square plus b square now we are going to the Laplace transform of sin bt Laplace transform of sin bt will be what we can calculate this we can find this integral in fact this Laplace transform by the similar method of Laplace transform of cos bt but we can apply the result of Laplace transform of cos bt into this portion so we got Laplace transform of cos bt equals to s by b Laplace transform of sin bt okay we got in the Laplace transform of cos bt portion that Laplace transform of cos bt equals to s by b Laplace transform of sin bt okay now Laplace transform of cos bt is s by s square plus b square so here s is removed Laplace transform of sin bt is b by s square plus b square so the Laplace tra transform of sin bt should be b by a square plus b square